you'd like to hear the ocean song again snap mountain trails that touch the wind cast your heart down long winding country roads the last time we broadcast live up here the lava lake was really high and we could see the spattering in the surface of the lava today it is about 33 meters or 112 feet or so below the vent rim, which means we can't see the lava itself. But what we're looking at is the world's largest lava lake. And it's about 10 acres in size right now, which is huge. And all that lava is causing that glow. Look at that. There you go, folks. That's incredible. It's hot. It's damn hot. So this is in Hawaii. This is Live right now, and this is the lava. Right. Well, aloha and good morning. Aloha kakahiaka, everybody. Um, I'm Jessica Farrakane. I'm the public affairs specialist at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and we are on the island of Hawaii in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and we are overlooking the world's most active volcano right now, Kilauea. We're looking actually right into the summit crater of Kilauea volcano. This crater is called Hale Mau Mau, and it has been erupting nonstop for us since 2008, so almost 10 full years now. And Hale Mau Mau um, is home to the world's largest lava lake. So there is a crater within the summit crater that is filled with about 10 acres of molten rock, aka lava. And that's what you're looking at right now is the reflection of all that molten lava about a hundred feet below the vent rim casting its reflective glow on the sunrise in the morning sky this morning. Oh. That better? Okay. So what you're seeing now, we are about a mile and a half away from this eruption site. It's a safe distance. Um, this particular crater is sort of known for belching out um, rocks and gases and particulates of volcanic glass called Pele's hair. And so the National Park has set up this viewing area about a mile and a half away so people can come in and safely watch this summit eruption. And this is the new location you have? Yeah, kind of a new location. It's, it's, uh, it was always here, we just didn't open it. Um, we decided to open it uh, a few months ago just to give people a little bit more options up here so not everybody's so crowded at the Jagger Museum overlook. That's where we normally broadcast from. Are you a little closer then or is this the lens that's doing this? It's the lens. So before I was um, broadcasting with the Cam Kicks 8 by lens and uh, we upgraded. Uh, Park bought us a 12 by lens just for virtual photo walks. So um, oh, we're able to, you. yeah, we're wow. able to bring the lava lake a little bit closer than on previous broadcasts. So. Awesome. How has the VOG been? The VOG is, uh, well, the trade winds came back yesterday, and so the VOG hasn't been too much of a problem, but a few days ago it was pretty thick. Um, I went to the island of Oahu, which is uh, north of here, and you could barely see the, the skyscrapers of Honolulu. The VOG was so, um, so prevalent. And for those of you who don't know what VOG is, VOG is that volcanic gas. See all that steam and gas rising from the lava lake right there? That really impacts our air quality and actually the quality of life here in the Hawaiian Islands. Well, all right. I think I'm hearing Wagner um, in my head. Wagner for the Vog. <laughs> <laughs> so the lava is not as high anymore. Not here, it's not. Um, Kilauea has two eruptions. So we have this eruption happening here at the summit, but we also have an eruption out in the east rift zone about 11 miles away from here. And that lava is currently going down cliffs across the coastal plain and into the ocean. And unfortunately, there is no cell service down there or very little, otherwise I would take you there as well. <laughs> Hi everybody. Let me take my glasses off. No, <laughs> I can't see you. So now you can just uh, spin it around and we can see that scene a little better. When the telephoto's on, it's uh, a little crazy, so. You're brilliant, John. Okay, so there's Mauna Loa behind me. It looks just like a small sloping hill, but it is actually the world's most massive active volcano. It's 14,000 feet or so above sea level, 
but it's so huge it subducts the earth's crust about 30,000 feet so technically this is the world's most massive and tallest mountain as well Mauna Loa so it's pushing the ground beneath down yes wow now if you're on the uh what's that show jeopardy if you're on jeopardy this could come in really handy <laughs> oh yes <laughs> look at that cloud and there we are there's a lava lake behind me so i'll switch back here soon but you can see uh as the sun comes up so this is also where we are um Hale Ma'o Ma'o crater the summit crater of kilauea volcano is the home to pele Honuamea, our hawaiian volcano goddess and she is one of the most prominent deities in the Hawaiian um, pantheon of gods and goddess. She is the goddess of uh, the volcanoes, the goddess of fire. And this is, her, uh, this is her home. That's what the legends all say. And when the summit began to erupt again in 2008, uh, many Hawaiians felt like Pele had come home. We've had continuous eruptions from Kilauea from various sites since 1983. And this particular eruption started in 08, like you pointed out. A lot of sulfur dioxide that comes out of the volcano, or SO2, as well as steam and other gases and particulates of volcanic glass. And all of that is called VOG, and it can be pretty gnarly to breathe in. So luckily, you can see it's, it's blowing away from us today. Thank you, trade winds. Um, but when it's not trade wind weather, and we have southerly winds or light winds, that fog kind of collects around here at the summit and it can be uh, not pleasant to breathe. I don't see any of the white birds. Not yet, it's probably a little early. They haven't had their coffee yet, John. <laughs> <laughs> so two weeks ago, I was able to go down into the closed area on the rim there. Let me see if I can zoom in on where I was, right there, um, kind of right where that fog is coming out of the volcano. I went there, um, National Park Service is doing um, an audio project called Voices of Science. And I went down there with a sound recorder and USGS scientists, and we recorded the sounds of the lava lake. And it is an eerie place, an eerie sounding um, experience. You know, it, it sounds like giant waves breaking on the shore nearby and it's, it's really, uh, it's really humbling to be right there and to look down at all the lava sloshing around. Will that be posted anywhere that we might be able to access it? Yeah, they're in the process of, um, of doing these little short uh, podcasts now, and it'll be on definitely on our social media, but also on the park website. That looks like more VOG. Come, is that just coming through the ground yeah. there? That's an excellent question. That is a, um, that's actually a, that steam. So you have these big deep cracks and shallow cracks um, all around Kilauea volcano. And what happens is moisture percolates down. Lava rock is really, really porous. And so the moisture percolates down, hits hot rock and steams up just like a tea kettle. So a lot of the um, little wisps that you see in other places other than coming out of the crater are uh, steam vents, Look, just like that one right to the left there. That's not gas, that is steam. And that's on the on, right on the rim. Mm. So because it's always erupting, does that mean it's less dangerous than like, say, Vesuvius or something where it hasn't erupted for a long time? Yeah, so um, Kilauea and Vesuvius are different types of volcanoes. Kilauea is a shield volcano. And so, um, and I believe Vesuvius is a, um, is a cataclysmic volcano, which has a more dangerous style of explosive eruptions. Kilauea's explosions, um, eruptions, even though we have had explosions have been relatively minor. Our flows are typically slow moving, uh -uh, or pohoi hoi flows that you can outwalk. And Kilauea is not that tall, it's only 4,000 feet. Mauna Loa, on the other hand, which is behind me, um, because of its steep size, those flows are more dangerous and um, it's not currently erupting. So we haven't had to deal with that since 1984. But yeah, two different types of volcanoes, the Vesuvius and um, Kilauea. You can see uh, headlights over in the closed area of the steam. There is um, the USGS, Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientists go out every single morning and they measure the depth of the lava. 
And so yesterday morning, our latest measurements were 112 feet below the vent rim. How do they do that? With a laser ranger, laser yep. range finder. Ah. Yeah, so they point um, this device at it and it gives it an accurate reading. Captains here, uh, boat captains will do that for whale watching because you cannot approach a humpback whale within um, 100, 100 yards. And so a lot of different uh, people here will use that device. All right, I'm going to put it on reverse and uh, check out the sunrise right now. It's lighting up the clouds really quite nicely. Somebody start singing the Beatles song, please. Here comes the sun. Thank you. Oh, wow. What a, what a, yeah. You got a serious sunset going on. Sunrise. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Other side of the planet here. Cool. Really pretty. Oh my. So Hawaiians believe that the sun is Pele, the volcano goddess's father, and is far more powerful than Pele. And of course, you know, he would be the big volcano in the sky. That's how they describe the sunshine and the sun. Beautiful. You should put a, a little sign on your hat saying this space for rent. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Mauna Loa behind me, just getting the sun rays on the uh, top of the mountain there behind. And we got an event from uh, Japan this Friday, next Friday, 14th. Let me check. Matter of fact, I'll unmute all right now and anybody that wants to can jump in. There you go. <laughs> this larger part that we're looking at, that flat area that looks almost like ocean, that's actually the, um, that's the bottom of Kilauea caldera. Um, and caldera is just a geologic term for any crater that's bigger than a mile in, um, in diameter, or sorry, circumference. And um, that this area has had lots of eruptions over the years. John, this is where Ranger Dean took us when we did um, Into the Volcano. Okay. Oh gosh, back in 2016. Yep. I remember. Um, see all the white deposits on the crater walls ahead of us? Mm -hmm. That's all sulfur deposits. So there's different mineral compositions in the um, volcanic rock here, the basalt, but that is a lot of different sulfur deposits that we're looking at. We got uh, three or four big rooms for the people here today. All right, so tell me a little bit about the audience today. Who, who's, who's, who's in the house, so to speak? Uh, from left to right, you got uh, John, you got Bill Hall from uh, Britain, hi Joe. Hello. Hello. And then hi. A uh, couple of from uh, Tech Today Buffalo. And then Zoe from, we don't know where Zoe's from. She just moves around a lot. No, she's from California. <laughs> and then you've got the adult recreational therapy guys. Everybody can wave. Hello. Hello. And then uh, they, uh, they're where Oakville in Canada, and then Tech Today, and then uh, another Zoe, and then another guy Dennis, and uh, Kay Garlock. I don't know who that is, but I think it's Dennis. So you've got about ten or eleven coming, coming and going here. All right. So I tried to zoom in a little bit. There's another nice little steam feature um, puffing up here to the right of the crater on its south uh, south side. Um, as it's like very sulfurous, does it smell quite eggy? It can, yes. It doesn't right now because the, right. the wind is blowing that away from us. But yes, it definitely can smell like rotten eggs or like somebody just lit a match. Yeah. Remember when we used to have matches? Yeah. <laughs> It's always such a special experience to come up here at sunrise and see the volcano. And for the people that uh, miss this, this is recorded in the cloud thanks to um, 
uh, Zoom donating 100 gigs of cloud storage to us and, a, and some Zoom rooms. So oh, that's so nice. Contact me for the link and I'll send it to you and uh, you can watch it. There's a lot of people away at doctor's appointments and things right now. So I, All right. I distribute the link and uh, they get to enjoy it later. There's Janice behind me. Say hi, Janice. <laughs> Janice. And then we've got Mauna Loa again, really lighting up with the sunrise. Beautiful. That's our other volcano. The name of our park is Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, and Mauna Loa is the second one. Kilauea is the other one that we are on. Just a handful of people up here this morning. And the erupting crater behind me. Ah, oh, well, that's that a was beautiful. Oh, right there. Oh, goodness. I think, I think your photographer is going to get some truly great pictures today. Yeah, she's an amazing photographer. Well, you've got to have the light, and she's got it today. Oh, thanks again so very much. Welcome. Thanks for uh, giving me the reason to come out here early and call it work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aloha, everybody from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Take okay. care. It's been Bye. great talking with you. Bye-bye. Aloha. See you Bye. next time. Take See you in care. November. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.